What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I am really excited because I got this in the mail today. Two days before the beginning of July, I got my Ipsy box. This is my creator box, which has my Ipsy Glam Bag, Glam Bag Plus, and also a couple extra goodies, which I'm really excited about. So I do get the creator box every month. I'm very, very happy and fortunate to be receiving that. I just like to unbox these, and you guys know I have always done this. I've done this for years, but now they send it to me. That's the only difference. So as always, we're just going to unbox my Ipsy Glam Bag, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and our extra goodies and see what I got. So let's go ahead and dive in. Right, first up, they hooked me up with a refill on a refreshment product, which I've had this one. I used it up entirely and I really, really like it. This is the Pillowy Shave Cream. And I actually currently am using the razor still in my shower. When they initially sent this product, they actually sent a razor with two of the heads and I'm already on my second one and I love it. I mean, I shaved my legs today using the razor and I use it just with body wash and even with that it's like pretty good because the moisturizing strip is just really nice I think the razor is great and this makes it even better so it smells good it's really moisturizing and I honestly can say that razor I don't know what it is because I switched from Dollar Shave Club when I got this and I always thought those razors were fine but I get some painful, maybe this is TMI in the bikini line. And for some reason with this razor, it's not as bad. My skin's still really prone to it, but for some reason, this combination helped. So if you're curious about it, I would definitely give refreshments a try. So they included that refill. I need to get more of the razor heads though, because I really do love them. And they also sent a little gift. I am so excited for this. This is perfect for summer and really good because I'm supposed to be going to the beach. I hope that trip's gonna happen. Um, so this is from O Soleil, or I don't know if it's O because it's only AU or maybe AU Soleil, um, but they sent this sarong. It is super cute. They put it in this little bag. This is gonna be really nice if I have a damp swimsuit when I'm like packing um, to put my damp swimsuit in that. So this is a 100% cotton gauze sarong. And I don't, I don't have a lot of familiarity with sarongs. I feel like I've always just worn like a t-shirt or a cover up, but this is super cute. So I'll quickly show you, this is how they have it pictured. She's wearing it just across the bottom and she's got it like up to the waist. So I feel like this could be a nice cover up if you just wanna like, you know, hide the tummy a bit while you're going places. So this is what it looks like. I just wanna show you, it's such a beautiful material and I love the way this feels. I don't know why, it just feels really nice, that gauze material. I opened it up and I was like, ooh, I hope it fits because you guys know I am like, you know, on the, the borderline of plus size and my, I carry a lot of weight in my hips. So I was like, ooh, I hope it's big enough, but it's actually big and it has some extra material. So it's beautiful. I'm really happy about this. I'm so glad that Ipsy put it in there. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the bags. I know that's what you wanna see. So this is our Ipsy glam bag. It says, stay golden. It does have a teensy Ipsy right here. The zipper has a nice blue, and then it's got the little pull. It's like a sun, a little stone in the middle. I have a kitty who wants to come in. Come in. My beauty room is Grand Central Station for cats. So anyway, this is really cute. I feel like this is very like a tasteful summer. You know, it's not just like, oh, flip flops or something. I don't like flip flop brands. I, do you remember when that became like a thing, like flip flops everywhere? I'm not a fan. Um, so I'm really happy to see something that's like very chic and still summery. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, first up, we got a, oh, this is a blush from Hip Dot, and I actually think that this is in my palette, and I think it's in the palette that I have right here. For my blush today, I actually used this shade and a little bit of eyeshadow just to like bump it up a little bit, but it's from this Moon Queen palette from Hip Dot, which is one that I reach for a lot. They have a deeper one as well, but this is the like fairer version, and this is the blush that I got right here. So I will, I'll show you what it looks like in this little, component but i'm not going to swatch it since i have it in my palette it is one that i reach for pretty frequently considering i have tons of face palettes but this one is one i reach for you can see it's like 
bronzer around the pan I usually clean stuff like that up so that shows you I've used it a lot but this is the blush right here and I'll give it a swatch this one is called red moon it's really pretty and these are pigmented but very soft it's like satiny between my fingers so I really love this formulation so that's my first item so next up we got something from Briogeo this is the superfoods avocado and kiwi mega moisture hair mask I've said it so many times recently but the more that I you know bleach my hair and lighten my hair the more that I need moisturizing products like this so I'm really happy to have this I've actually eyed this mask and also some of their shampoo and conditioner but I've never tried Briogeo shampoo and conditioner I've only tried like scalp scrubs, hair mask, things like that. So I'd and leave-in conditioner, but I'd really love to try their shampoo and conditioner too. This sounds great. I'm really happy to have that. All right, next up we got KVD Vegan Beauty Cake Pencil. It says it's intensely rich long wear eyeliner. I don't know if I kept this. I think I got one of these in gratis when they first came out, but I don't believe that I held on to it. So this may be something I need to try and I actually like that it's a small size. When I travel with makeup anytime, especially if I'm going to fly, I love to get small sizes. As long as it's a product that works decent for me, then I will take it because I really like to leave my full sizes. If it's products that I really love, I just don't, I don't want them to like melt or break or I'm very clumsy <laughs> i'm liable to just like drop my bag especially if you're checking a bag but i love to find tiny makeup so this will be the perfect black eyeliner especially if you want to you know do something a little bit dramatic under the lower lash line if you're traveling and you want you know for a night out but I'm excited to try this formula because I can honestly say I don't think I've tried it. I remember when we showed it in store, I think we showed this more of like a smoky, like very, very black liner. So I'm excited to try this out. All right, let's see what else. So we got this from Nomad. This is, okay, this must be a single shadow. It's the, is it Cartagena? I think it's Cart Cartagena. Um, technically is how you pronounce it in Spanish, but um, Cartagena Magica, I'll call it that because I'm very, very American. Um, so this is the little box that it comes in. It's so pretty. I have most of the Nomad palettes, but I do not have their recent one that's like US Parks and I don't have this one. For some reason, it's very pretty, but I really, Okay, I had to question myself for a minute. Do I have it? I don't think that I do. I think I got the um, Marrakesh, but I didn't get this one. So this palette's got lots of like oranges, reds, yellows. So let's see the color. And it's Erez El Mundo. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. This looks like a kind of like, ooh, it's very pretty. It's almost like gold with a hint of bronze. It's really pretty. Let's swatch this. Okay, my hand is a little dry. I bet this would look really pretty with like a base underneath it. It's got a nice shine to it. Ooh, especially when you flip it into the light, so pretty. So yeah, this is the one palette I don't have. So this is a, a nice shade for me to get. Um, I don't reach for single shadows a lot, but I bet I could pop this out of here and put it in a Z palette too. But yeah, I love Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadows. If you haven't tried them, definitely recommend i have so many of their palettes i have the fire and ice one i have the tokyo the marrakesh oh my i'm forgetting i have a bunch of their palettes and i truly really really love them um oh the orient express is really pretty too so i definitely recommend their shadows and this is a great item to get we have one more item in our glam bag okay we've got the hello fab this is first aid beauty pores be gone matte primer and it has fig extract in it so this is an oil-free primer i usually don't use mattifying primers it's not something that i really reach for a lot but i will say as of right now it is very hot and very humid like more than hot it's humid as heck here so in alabama right now stepping outside during the day feels like walking into a swamp it is just ugh, 
hot and sticky. <laughs> anyway, the point that I'm trying to make eventually is that makeup is definitely harder to get it to stay on. And I feel like matte primers will help a little bit with that, especially since I like a more luminous, like medium coverage, then this might be really nice underneath, especially in the T-zone. So I will definitely use some of that. Anyway, we got our matte primer, we got our hair mask, Nomad eyeshadow, we got the Hip Dot blush and the KVD pencils. So that is our glam bag. She's super cute. I love it. Okay, let me show you the glam bag. Plus, the bag is really cute. It also says stay golden and it has the sun with the little eye. You've got the blue and I feel like these are just super cute. I like how they coordinate. Penny has been trying to destroy the strings on these bags. If she finds one, because I keep these bags specifically, I just like the drawstring bags. And yeah, she's been trying to chew them all up. <laughs> so let's see what we've got. All right, first up, makeup of the day, cosmetics. It's like a, ooh, a brush trio. And look at these handles. It's like a hammered gold. That's what you call that, right? <laughs> In my head, it sounded just perfect. But now I'm like, is that, is that right? Anyway, let's open these up. I just washed all of my brushes. I, I didn't count them. I wanted to count them, but I think it's I think it's at least like 400 brushes. That's counting like well, no, that's not counting everything. <laughs> I started to, I was looking around thinking this this has got to be like three or four hundred, and then I realized I've got a set over there and a cup that I didn't wash. I've got my makeup by Mario Sephora brush thing, the big set of them, and like a cabinet over there. <laughs> So there's no telling how many brushes I have. But anyway, back to this, um, to the point, I have the makeup of the day pink brushes, the eye brushes that came a few months ago in a subscription box. And I actually got two of the sets and I love them. So I'm really excited to see more makeup of the day brushes. Got these beautiful brown bristles, the hammered gold, and then it's three face brushes. So we have the Supermodel Sculpt Golden Gem Bronzer, and then Get Cheeky With It. So these are beautiful. This looks like the perfect size for a contour brush. I want it to get a little bit kind of fluffier. These feel nice. They're very soft but they're not super silky soft. Does that make sense? Because I feel like well-made brushes can definitely be very soft and I know a lot of people like them, but they've got to have a little texture to them to apply right. And I feel like these have a nice little bit of texture, but very soft. These feel really good. So I'm super excited about this brush trio. All right, next up we got Il Maquillage. This is the Black Card Lift Curl and Lengthen Mascara. I need, I need curling and lengthening for sure. I need my, my lashes lifted. So this sounds good for me. I don't think this is the mascara that I already have and love. One of their mascaras I love so much. I actually think it may have dried out on me or maybe I still have it and I'm crazy, but I think it dried out, but I really like that formula, but I have not tried this one. Oh, it's made in Italy. So here is the tube. I like the black and white and oh, Okay, this is different. One side of this is completely flat. And then you have curved bristles on one side. That is strange. Although sometimes I do take, usually just my finger, it, like if my lashes are refusing to curl and I put mascara on, I'll take my finger and kind of like hold my lashes up a little bit if that makes sense while they're drying, but I'm gonna have to try this out. I usually prefer my favorite mascaras typically have more traditional bristles, but this one could be amazing. I love the other one, so I'm definitely excited to give this a try. Woo, almost threw it out. But this looks really interesting. I'm definitely excited to try it. So Il Maquillage Mascara. We have from Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. So this is something that I already have and love. I really like Wonder Beauty products. I have like an oil. I've had a mascara that I like. I've had several things from Wander that I have really loved. And these eye masks are so pretty, especially just like wearing them. The gold is so nice. And I like how these give like some extra hydration 
foundation, a little deep puffing under the eyes. So it's a great way to kind of pamper the under eye area. Anytime I do my eyeshadow before, which lately I haven't, I've been doing my eyeshadow after foundation and all that, but in the times that I really want to take my time and do something with just eyeshadow before foundation, I'll put these on or put an eye mask on. But I think I have a couple of these left, but I'll definitely keep these as my like back stock of eye masks because I do like these a lot. Let's see what we got next. This is the Artist Couture Silky Lip Oil. Ooh, I don't have a lot from Artist Couture, so I'm definitely excited to try this. So, oh, this is so pretty. I like this packaging a lot. Oh, look how cute. This is so like me today. So this is a lip oil. Let's see. Okay, I just took off most of my lip gloss so I can give this a try. Ooh, the applicator is a little big for the opening, but I feel like maybe if you just use it a few times, <laughs> maybe it won't be as snug, you know? So, ooh. It smells really good. It's like fruity. I can tell if that's like watermelon, but it smells fruity. It feels nice. It's not quite as thick as I may have expected. It almost feels, it feels like something I'm familiar with. It's like an oily balm kind of consistency, but it doesn't feel heavy and thick and just oily. It feels very nice on the lips. So I'm very excited for this. Yes, I don't have a lot of Artist Couture. I have a couple highlights and I think one of the little eye glimmers, glitters, or whatever they are. The last item is Dr. Eve. I don't know if it's Eve R. Youth or Eve Ryuth. Ryuth, Ryuth, UK address. Okay. Made in the EU. Okay. So this is a limited edition. Limited edition? Vitamin C Night Moisturizer. It may be like the packaging or something. Sorry if you guys cannot see that it's pretty bright i'm down to try it but i've never heard of the brand but vitamin c yes we like and vitamin c nighttime moisturizer so i feel like this would be nice to pair with maybe my retinol serum those two make a good combination overnight so i will definitely give this a try it may be on it may be on my list of things to try if you guys saw my skincare organization declutter vlog that was a mess <laughs> So anyway, in our Glam Bag Plus, we got our Vitamin C Nighttime Moisturizer, our Artist Couture Lip Oil, Wonder Baby Eye Mask, Il Maquillage Mascara, and our three Makeup of the Day brushes. Love the gold. Okay, so that is everything we got. I have to say, I'm very excited for that lip oil, um, the brushes, honestly all of it. The lip oil brushes and mascara are probably my top ones but i mean i'm excited for the skincare too and i feel like both bags are really really good so let me know if you're hoping to get any of these items in your ipsy bag hopefully this is early enough that if you wanted to see spoilers you can see them and if you want to wait and you're watching this later totally understand that if you want a surprise but i know if you're like me you're probably more interested in seeing what you might get and seeing some variations so i hope you guys enjoyed my ipsy glam bag and glam bag plus thank you so much for watching how have i talked for 25 minutes she's long-winded today so thank you again um please leave a thumbs up if you enjoy these also i know you've already seen my glam bag plus but i also purchased one for myself so let me know if you'd like to see a comparison when that one comes in, even though you're already aware of the one. Um, if that's something that you would still watch, let me know. And then also, if you want to see me try any of these products, let me know that as well. And thank you again. I will see you really soon in my next one. Bye, guys.